Greetings and welcome to another video. It's been a long time since I've done a video. I think maybe about two months. So in this video, I'm just going to go to a hair place. And it's the first hair place that I've been to that I will be going to since the whole PBR release in Firestorm, which I am currently using. I've been playing around with sliders and the check boxes and everything and I discovered a few things now don't get me wrong my machine is not a piece of crap I love my machine it is a good machine it's about five maybe six years old but I've had two updated graphic graphic cards I've updated my stock fans twice all by myself and I keep the inside of my machine clean I don't want to have my machine blow up because of SL's high demands. Some people like PBR, some people don't, some people still doesn't understand what it is. And that's fine. I'm not here to educate anybody. No, I'm just here making this video to show how I'm doing it with the specs of my machine. My specs aren't so bad, but also I want you to realize that it is okay if you have a lower spec machine and you want to avoid the whole PBR because your machine can't handle it. That's okay. SL is still doable. Just don't tell anybody because then, you know, the people with like 10 fans and their graphics card and 8 trillion bytes of hard disk space or SSD and has like Wi-Fi connected to satellite to, I don't know, outreaching God's finger or whatever, you know, machines that run satellites and stuff. <sighs> Ignore those people. Look, as an oldie, been in second life for, for, for decades, it gets to the point where you do what you have to do in order to, you know, keep up. And then when you've reached that point, it becomes unrealistic to maintain the higher demands of what other people's machines can handle. So you just do the best with what you can with what you got. So we're going to go to one of my favorite hair places. No, it's not truth. We're going to go to Steel Thick. I might be pronouncing it wrong. I probably am because I normally do pronounce things wrong because my accent, but well, there you go. We are here. Ooh, we're here. Now, they're not having a sale or anything. Now, look at this floor. Isn't this floor nice? You can see the little reflection in the floor and the flowers just look so much more vibrant, don't they? It's really pretty. Well, I actually have PBR turned off in my Firestorm viewer. Yes, I figured out how to do that all by myself. <laughs> if you want to do it, you know, for those uh, 2K texture uploads for like a doorknob, which is ridiculously stupid, then... Uh, yeah, it you, you might need to do that. Now, it is realistic to have a reflective floor like this lovely floor. But if you don't want to see or if you don't want to interact with the PBR things, then I discovered that you could just go to the advanced menu, go to rendering feet, nope, go to rendering types, go all the way down to PBR. Now watch the floor. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Now also, in my preferences and graphics, I don't have any shaders. I have no shadows. Uh, the reflection detail is only static. Reflection coverage is manual only. And I do have the default full point lighting on. At the moment, my draw distance is 96 particle count well I just turn it down I mean it really doesn't do anything but yeah I, I just turn it down because I just do now because I don't 
have render everybody on, you know, only friends. I normally have my <laughs> non-imposter avatars turned down to one. That does help with your FPS, but it depends on how social you are, I guess. I don't know. Eh, that's that. Hardware settings, I don't have anything checked with the antrostropic filtering. I've never had it checked before PBR. And when you do have it checked, yeah, like the different angles of your um, camera angle, if you do have the antrostropic filtering on, you can tell a difference, like it's more smoother depending on, the an on your camera angle. However, it's... Personally, for me, I don't see much of a difference, so I think it's just a a slower, it just slows down the, the client, so I, I just never have it turned on. With rendering, old standard restrict maximum texture resolution to 512 pixels, and show avatars that have a finished load in, render attached particles, and render alpha mask. And that's it. So, if we go to this room here and you'll see oh look there's the floor and you can see some little you know reflections here and the PBR is still off in rendering types I mean I could run around and yay hair yay and I can out and all this stuff now i could do the same even if the rendering pbr was on but i want you to keep in mind that i am running obs at the same time as well so all right rendering types pbr oh there's the floor oh look that's a pretty floor can i run around i can run around i could do some cam action oh yeah Whee! you know so now, there you go. Now, I am opening up my task manager to look at my CPU. I am using Firestorm and the latest version of OPS at the same time. My CPU percentage is 26 and my memory is at 52% while my graphics, while my NVIDIA graphics card is at 55 degrees Celsius or used to be called centigrade. I don't know why they changed it from centigrade to Celsius. So we're going to look at this. This is really pretty. This video is not sponsored by Still Thick at all. No. Nope. Right. So we're going to go to rendering types again. Turn off the PBR. See, no change. But you see that floor disappeared. So I can only guess that that floor has a PBR texture combo. I was here and I wanted to try on a demo of their latest hair, which is this slumber, but it's an equal 10. I don't want to go to equal 10 because it's an event. I don't like going to events. So I'm just going to wait till this hair comes in the store. Then I could try on a demo demo. If I go to equal 10, then I have to hunt down their, their stall try on the demo and uh, I'm, I'm just too tired I just I, I just can't do it I mean I can do it I just don't want to do it so we're going to go back to my land yeah now uh oh oh no where did my body go well for some reason this has been happening to me a lot lately you know when I TP out TP in when I log out when I log in this happens. Well, all you do, click on yourself, appearance, reset, mesh LOD. There you go. Uh, you fixed. You fixed. You don't have to panic or go into character test. So it's all, it's all good. I'm just going to run around and remember I have PBR turned off. I have decided I am not going to use PBR textures. Now, speaking of the textures let's go to my little shop yeah i've been doing some stuff that's all i've really been doing i've just been logging on at times and you know working on my shop and building some crap <laughs> and making some stuff whatever so 
Regarding the non-PBR textures and the PBR textures, I'm not going to, I don't want to use them. I, I, I'm just not a PBR person. So we're going to res a box here. Now, as you can see, I have the normal edit box, the normal. The PBR edit box. Now, if you want the PBR stuff to show up in the texture edit menu, you go to preferences, go to Firestorm, build two, and then all the way down here at the bottom, you will check the box, use the new Firestorm texture panel and the tools floater. And you restart your machine. That's what I did. And so now you will see all of this. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I understand this. I know what's going on with that. You know, I mean, I, I, I get all this. I get it. But it's going to be 50 linden to upload a 2k texture you know and then there's the cost and there's the it's just too much work and i'm just a hobbyist builder so it's not really my thing i mean it's more about reflections and probes and all the realistic and all this stuff and it uh, it's just not my thing. I mean, I get overwhelmed pretty easily when it comes to uh, certain types of graphics. But there you go. <laughs> this is your normal. I mean, you can have the box checked, you know, and you can still use it like normal. You know, there's your transparency and, you know, you can like select face and go here. And we'll just put that over here and that shows up here. And if you don't want that, then you could just like, uh, uh, do the same as you would willy nilly. It's not a big problem. There's your full bright. There's your glow, your transparency, you know, which there you go. So you could do that. I just, it's just stuff that I'm not going to use. I have no plan on using these things. So why, why am I, why am I going to have extra stuff? in my edit box that I'm not going to use. That's just me. Now, if you want to get rid of that, which I do, I, I want to go back to the old ways and you go preferences, Firestorm, build two, and then you uncheck the use the new Firestorm texture panel. And then you just restart. And we're back. So we'll go back to the box here and you will see it is like normal. Hopefully that'll help those that want that help. If you didn't need to know that, well, you have useless information in your brain. And before I go, I do want to show you all what I have done in my physical world time that I've been having a lot of. And I've uploaded it to SL, some of my art, because I also do mixed media art as a hobby. There you go. Thought that was pretty cool. I like it. Be optimistic. It's epic. See? My British humor is coming out. See? You get it? And um, my next one and then this one Wilson having a bad day that day wearing his little crown having a bad day he was having a stabbing practice with an apple over there by the window and then this one I did I originally made it to share with my group therapy that I've been going to, but I thought 
Uh, I don't know. So I have some other pieces I'll put up in the house. That's all I had to say, really. I'm still alive. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do if you did. And if you didn't, well, just continue to do nothing. Nothing. All right. I'll see y'all next video. Bye.